before starting I've turned the power off I've pulled out all the cords just to make sure everything's not powered now this here is the power supply for the laser tube so um, it doesn't actually match the um, wiring diagram I've got so I just uh, double check I see I know this green one is the ground for the tube the blue and the yellow are uh, 220 AC in and I see it's measuring nothing and the red one is uh, I didn't follow it all the way but I think it goes to the switch that turns this on or off now the actual uh, 22,000 volts that goes out to the tube is a cord around the back that I don't have actual access to so I'll double check that up at the laser to make sure it's off but because I don't have like circuit diagrams I can trust I'd just turn it off and leave it for like 15 minutes for anything to discharge and it should be fairly safe and then before going up to the laser I've uh, drained most of the water so there's just a tiny little pool sitting left up inside the tube which won't make a mess anywhere so at the front of the tube is where it's connected to ground and this isn't particularly dangerous so I'll just um snip this off got like a fair excess of wire that I can trim back and I'll just um, take it so this is just some tube that's been placed over there I'll just cut back this just gently because I don't want to damage it I'm gonna do something with this tube later This here that's been put on it is just 100% um, silicon. So similar stuff you can just buy at the hardware store as long as it's 100% silicon, not one of those special application ones, because they can have other ingredients. Okay, so being fairly gentle and getting all that, you can see that from the uh, factory, there was no soldering done. It was just wire wrapped and covered with uh, this silicon to keep it sort of protected. So that's the way I've seen some uh, videos of them installing them in the factory as well. So that's the exact same way I'm going to do it. I'm not going to solder. So there's the ground gone, so I'll just get this wire out of the way and then we'll go do the power side. Alright, so I'll remove this here from the uh, front end. Now I'm going to use this tube and uh, do something else with it. So I don't want to uh, take this end off, I'll just clip the wire. Now I haven't had a chance to actually test this wire specifically and this is the danger one. So what I'm going to do is just a certainty is put it against the case which is grounded and I'll just try to penetrate so I can feel I'm touching like the post with the wire and I'm not seeing any voltage on my multimeter so as expected fairly confident now that the, the power is off and it's safe it's just better to check And I'm simply going to just cut this wire. Okay, so when I take rid this wire, okay, so this wire has a lot more uh, insulation around it, and this is uh, specially rated for the 2,000 volts that's coming through it. So. If you do replace this wire, don't replace it with anything besides a wire that you bought that's been told specifically for this purpose. Otherwise you can um, risk arcing and fire. So now all I'm going to do is undo the rest of the bolts along here and I'll just lift it out. Alright, so I loosen the, the fittings to take it out. 
Now the water inlet and the outlet are just press fit on. It's easy enough to take them off. Now just remove the tube and take it away and then go get the next one. The new tube it turns out is bigger than the one that I'm replacing even though it's meant to be for this machine. So I had to take the uh, brackets off and print up some new ones. So um, I'm just going to uh, fit that. So what I wanted to do while making new brackets was most importantly uh, be able to set it in place so the height of the tube when it comes out is going to be in line. If we look at the back. So it's about the same height to hit the middle of the mirror, just you know within a millimeter or two. Doesn't matter if it's too far back or forward, I can move this mirror back and forward. So I'm just going to secure this in place, then go on to the next step setting it up. So with it secured in place, before I uh, commit to any kind of um, doing the wires or anything, I'm just going to connect the water up. And this is all just sort of like push on fit. So one at the front, one at the back, it's pretty obvious which one's which because only one will reach this far. And because my water's on a different circuit, that's I can turn that on and I can just like let some water run through. So now the water's starting to come through now, so I'll be able to like um immediately see if there's any issues with like bubbles forming or anything that I'm gonna have to, you know, like tilt and get rid of them. But no, there's just sort of one bubble that's sort of chasing through and getting out of there now, so. And I'm satisfied the water flow's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'll go up and I'll do the, um, the ground wire first. I'll just wipe it clean with a bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol first. So my plan is I'm going to like cable tie this and I'm going to come around from the top there and I'm just going to put this same sort of plug back on how the other one was. So I'll tightly wrap this around. To the end of the post. I'm going to clip the excess off. I brought, should have brought my better ones. And I've got some 100% uh, silicone sealant. So none of the any any of the specialty types. So let that start flowing. Dab a bit on, and I'll put this sort of cone over, and I'll fill it up just like it was on the one that I removed. And then I'll go do the same up with the uh, high voltage wire. So with both of these connected up, what I'll do now is, while I wait for this um, silicon to cure, I'm just going to like cable tie up some of these wires and start uh, re-connecting the power. 
so I'll be ready to uh, test it. But um, that's it, the laser's done. All there is to do is test, redo the uh, alignment, and it'll be good to go. Right, the silicon looks a bit better once it's cured a bit. Uh, the high voltage end is a lot neater, which is the most important. So what I'm going to do is um, try to fire a shot, only at 50% power, because I don't want to put too much stress on it yet. Now we'll see if it all works. 